Hello everyone, this is Fuller. Today I'll show you how to use YYCHR to edit the sprites in A Link to the Past. There are three files located in the description below. A palette file, SNES9X, and YYCHR. You will also need A Link to the Past ROM, which you'll have to find on your own. Let's set everything up. Start by creating a folder for your project. I will be naming mine SNES Sprite Tutorial. Next, download YYCHR and extract it into a new folder within your project folder. Place your ROM file into this new folder, then download the palette file from the description and place it into your YYCHR folder alongside your ROM file. Lastly, Download and install a SNES emulator. You'll need this to test your sprite edits. You can use the one I've provided in the description. Now that everything is downloaded, let's start editing some sprites. Start up YYCHR and drag the palette file from earlier into the program. Click the PAL button and navigate to the last row in the palette. Now you can drag in your Link to the Past ROM file and start editing. It doesn't look like pixel art right now, but if you scroll down until you reach 80,000, you'll start to see the Link sprites. There are some useful tools at the top here. You can mirror vertically and horizontally. And you can rotate left and right with these buttons. And you can shift the image one pixel in any direction using these four buttons here. You can also replace the colors. Let's say I wanted to replace the pink hair with brown. You can do that just like this. Select the pink square on the bottom row and then select the brown square on the top row and click OK. Note that only the sprites within your selection on the left are affected. You can change the selection size by going down to the zoom drop-down menu and selecting a different size. Times 1 is the largest, and times 16 is the smallest. There are also some useful tools on the right. There's the stamp, which lets you select an area and drag a copy somewhere. I like to use this to shift around proportions. There's also the pen tool, which is a basic drawing tool, and is the most useful, I think, of all the tools here. Then there's the pen pattern tool, which I don't have much use for, but it creates a checkerboard pattern, like so. There's the line tool, which works as you would expect. The rectangle fill tool. The rectangle pattern tool, which works very similarly to the pen pattern tool. A plain rectangle tool. A circle fill tool. A circle tool. And a fill tool. To select a color, click one of the color squares in the bottom row of the palette. If you'd like to erase part of the sprite, the black square on the very left of the palette is your erase color. Use this the same as you would any other color on the palette. You can start editing sprites right now, but I find that it's a lot more convenient to have another instance of YYCHR open at the same time. Again, I'll drag the palette file into YYCHR, click the PAL button, and navigate to the bottom row of the palette, but this time, instead of dragging in the ROM file, I'm going to create a bin file, which I will call sprite.bin. Now I'll drag this into the new instance of YYCHR. Ensure that your graphic format is set to 4BPP SNES. As you can see, this provides a large blank area. This way, you can create and edit your own sprites without worrying about messing up the original file until you're ready. Once you're happy with the sprites you've made, you can click them and copy them over to the other instance of YYCHR by using Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. Once you've replaced all the sprites that you want, just click Save and open the game using the emulator that you downloaded earlier. And that's it. Now you can make your own sprites in A Link to the Past. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I'll try to answer as many as I can. If you'd like to see animations, pixel art, or digital paintings made live, 
be sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash Thanks for watching and have a nice day.